Hey guys, it is time for another review, and this is going to be an interesting one here because it's for the new movie, The Hunt. I'm not going to recap everything that went down with this movie and its marketing campaign back in the fall of 2019, but if you do want a refresher on all of that, you can actually go on over to Collider.com and read the article that I wrote, which is a little bit of a play-by-play -play of the whole situation, and also has some information on how Blumhouse and Universal decided to pivot with the marketing campaign on this one. But now for my review. and. First, let's get into the plot details. The hunt focuses on a group of people who wake up in a field with no clue of how they got there. And it turns out that those people are being hunted by what's been described as a group of elites. That's the simplest explanation of what's going on in the movie. And as a surface level premise, the hunt works. As a survival thriller, it's riveting. The fight sequences are very well choreographed and shot, and Betty Gilpin really does make for a kick-ass and engaging lead. I know Gilpin gains a whole lot of notoriety from the success of GLOW, but if you need even more proof that she is a total powerhouse, here's the hunt for you. She just makes such fascinating choices all throughout the movie. Certain facial expressions and dialogue delivery choices that really leave you unable to take your eyes off of her. And as far as the full ensemble goes, Damon Lindelof and Nick Hughes just came up with so many wild and unexpected twists and turns for them. And the thing is, I can't say I was really rooting for any of them to survive due to compelling character development, but Lindelof and Cuse put genre formulas to use in such an effective way with all of them. You're kind of reaching for just one of them to be your familiar protagonist to latch onto and pull you through the story, but then it's kind of like they pull the rug out from under you and they keep doing it until it sinks in that getting to know someone is just far more valuable than your assumptions about them. So the hunt is interesting because the movie is super simple and it also isn't. On the surface, the scenario is a one side hunts the other kind of thing, but no one's really painted as a clear cut villain. It's more so let's take both sides to the max, put them on a collision course, let things explode and show the audience how ridiculous such extreme behavior and closed mindedness can be. Basically, almost all the characters think their way is right, the other way is wrong, and rather than talk through their differences, they just resort to violence and all wind up worse off because of it. Another really interesting layer of the story that I think makes the hunt way more than just a fleeting thrill is the conspiracy theory elements of it all. This idea of internet rumors spiraling out of control and maybe becoming true in the process. It's actually real interesting that the movie was delayed back in September and move to a release date when things are getting super crazy online with the coronavirus, it does kind of encourage you to really stop and think through all the information you're taking in on the internet before you run with it. I'm going to go ahead and give The Hunt four Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. I have to bring up something that Lindelof had mentioned in a post-screening Q&A that I attended because I really do think it puts the, the tone, I guess, and the content into perspective. He had said that the movie was always designed to be populist enjoyment and hopes that there's still some vegetables on the plate with it. I think he's underselling the movie, though. If I'm going to compare The Hunt to any kind of food out there, I'd probably go with my spinach smoothie. Spinach is good for you, but I don't love it. So I hide it in a smoothie with peanut butter and banana. That's what The Hunt is. It's a really energetic, bloody romp that still gives you some worthwhile food for thought. And also, I can't cook all that much else, so that was the only uh, comparison I can make there. That's it, guys. Those are my thoughts on The Hunt for you. If and when you see the movie, do hit that comment section below and share your thoughts on it right there. I'm very curious to know what you think about this one. And before I say goodbye, let's give some Patreon shout outs out. I've got three of them right now and they're going to Brandon, Tabitha and Charles. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. It means a lot to us. I appreciate it. And a big thanks to everybody out there watching this review. Do not leave without liking and sharing it. And I'm going to have some more of them for you real soon.